Hello and today we are creating this tire morphing effect inside of Blender with geometry nodes. So let's get started. First I have these two models here. I, I will link them in the description so you can download it and experiment with it. One is the tire model, it's very low poly, you can see, so we can work easily with it. And the second one is the pattern that uh, we are going to use as an input in the geometry nodes. So you can see the geometry is pretty clean here. And if you're working with any other meshes, you must need the geometry like this because it's very important. So now, uh, first I'm going to add a set position node here because uh, everything we need is the set position node then we are gonna give it these uh, inputs here which will give us the whole pattern so I'm gonna hide the pattern so that we can see what's going on here first we need to subdivide these areas only the areas where the pattern is happening so let's select them first hide the pattern hit 3 for the face selection mode alt to select the whole edge here and control plus to maximize these so I selected this uh, but I'm not gonna subdivide these in the edit mode we are gonna add it to a vertex group assign and rename it to the subdivide now add a separate geometry node here separate geometry and connect the selection to the black dot here now in the selection here click on this button and select our group here so you can see we separated the area which we are gonna subdivide more than this area so let's add a subdivisional surface modifier on the grouped area and add a join geometry and connect the inverted one with that so you can see we got an issue here which is that one I'm going to make this face and it fixed it now I'm gonna show you the wireframe of it you can see we have uh, more geometry on the area which we made the group on you can see here like that and now all we need to just give the set position uh, some inputs to work on the pattern I'm gonna import this pattern here a relative connect this to a geometry proximity geometry goes into the target and the distance goes to the offset uh, you can see it's not uh, not working really good here so let's add a map range Um, and a vector map so we can define where are we multiplying these I'm gonna multiply this with the normals so add a normal load here you can see it seems to be working because these are coming out a little bit as this pattern here now let's add a math node and just bring these values a little bit up so that we can invert the whole thing yes we inverted it now play with the math node here just a little bit less than that would work right now it's very slow because the subdivision level if I bring that down a little bit it's gonna be okay now let's um, bring that just a little bit up yes that is just down a little bit something like that now we turn off the auto smooth here because the faces are really sharp now turn that off and bring up the subdivision level now next step is to control the effect with some kind of circular gradient uh, for that I added a vector math set to scale 
and now we are gonna play with this input so I'm gonna add a gradient texture but uh, it doesn't work like that we have to use the UVs for that so I'm gonna go to the UV editing and turn off the modifier here and now select these faces holding alt and control plus and shift it to hide everything else I added a seam over here from before so I'm gonna remove it you can mark seam here and select everything you and unwrap now for the UV map I'm gonna add a named attribute to import it to the geometry nodes and select it from here you can see we have 2d vector here named gradient which I added in the UV maps here so connect it to the vector but before that I'm gonna add a separate XYZ node and connect the Y to the vector because you can see it's happening on the Y axis not the X axis so let's clear that now uh, connect factor to the scale and turn on the this modifier I turned it off because you were working in the UVs you can see it it is like a gradient it's zero here and it gradually increases the value to one at last so now we need some kind of map ranging or any maps that can control the whole thing for us so I'm going to add a map range first because that's the first thing I do always then bring up that value near to that and bring that one down or up I guess down is better now here is very near to the effect just playing around with the map range bring that down bring that up and that's actually pretty good I think point five six it works the best add a math node and set it to add so if we input group input and connect this value here and duplicate this math node and make it divide by 10 so we have a good slider value here now that's good we can always turn off the geometry nodes modifier to just animate the whole thing easily and congratulations you have created the effect and see you in the next one